Yes, very good morning. So we were doing examples of chapter number 10, circles. Example number three we have done. Let us start with fourth example. Example number four. ABCD is a cycle quadrilateral. Figure is given to us this time. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral in which AC and BD, they are the diagonals. This AC and BD, they are the diagonals of the cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. Angle DBC is given to be 55 degree. DBC, 55 degree. And uh, BAC, this is 45 degree. BAC is equal to 45 degree. Then find angle BCD. We need to find this angle BCD. Angle BCD is to be found out. So, जो जो दिया हुआ है वो लिखने पहले इसमें हमारा solution होगा because when to find out then to, then we will write solution then something is to be proved then we will write to prove right चलिए solution we are going to start with angle DBC this is equal to fifty five degree angle BAC this is equal to 45 degree and uh, angle AC BCD angle BCD is to be find out. So we need to find angle BCD. You may find it. So you know this BCD angle, if I'm talking about this BCD angle, it, it lies in the triangle BCD. So if I want to find this angle BCD, I have to enter in triangle BCD and their angles and properties to be applied. Uh, eight minutes. So many students have not sent their holidays homework till now. Only 28 students are there in the class, very low attendance. And uh, out of these 28 students, only five to six students, they have sent their holidays homework. What is the reason? I want to know the reason. This was your holidays homework. It is to be completed in holidays. Moreover, it is a part of internal assessment. You will get your internal assessment based on this. So you are not uh, going to submit that. Na? Chalo, anyhow, then the only one thing is left that I have to call to your parents. And secondly, these 29 students are uh, supposed to send their notebooks for checking. And uh, chapter number 10, circles, previous, previous work we have checked. If someone's previous work is left, which is not checked, they can send that also. But chapter number 10, circles, exit chapter, you have to send it by tomorrow. Send your notebooks by tomorrow. Don't take it to be casually. Your holidays homework, as well as your copy homework notebook checking, that is a part of your internal assessment on the basis of which you will get your internal assessment. So better to grab this 10 marks. It's very easy. Just to send your holidays homework and the complete your copies. You're having enough time now. You're not coming to school, right? So you can complete your work and you can send it to your teacher to get 10 marks easily. And moreover, jitne bhi homework abhi tak maine check kiye, I, I saw Manevit's work was excellent. The way she did her homework, it is the reflection that how much uh, creative she is and it is a reflection that uh, how uh, heartedly, heartedly she has done the work. Kitna dil se usne apna kaam kiya. Manevit, you are such a good student. You please keep on uh, studying hard and uh, come with flying colors. I would like agar aap academics mein bhi itna hi achha perform kar pao. I would be very happy. So angle BCD is to be find out. So we need to find this angle BCD. So we will start in triangle BCD if we are able to find this angle 
then with the help of angle sum property we can easily crack angle bcd so i am firstly finding out this angle bbc consider the code bc of the circle consider the code bc of the circle and when i consider this code bc of the circle i can see two segments of the circle one segment is lying above bc code bc and another segment is lying below code bc and this bdc angle it is made by this code bc in this alternate segment angle bdc is formed by the code bc and the another angle in the same segment which is made by this code is bac so we can write here angle bdc is equal to angle bac and write angles in the same segment angles in the same segment made by a code they are equal okay so angle bdc is equal to angle bac value put kar do so you will put this bac to be 45 so your bdc this also comes out to be 45 so your angle bdc it comes out to be 45 so we will start applying angle sum property in triangle bbc so let us apply angle sum property in triangle bbc so i'm writing in triangle bbc two of the angles are with us one is 45 chalo pehle angles ka name likh lo cbd b is in center then bdc d is in center then bcd c in the center this is equal to 180 so this angle cbd this is 55 degree angle bdc is 45 degree and the angle bcd we want to find this is 180 so this is 100 plus angle bcd this is 180 degree so angle bcd is 180 minus 100 and this is 80 degree so you are having angle bcd to be 80 degree for the given question yeah now remember one thing the questions which are related to finding the angles with the help of the different theorems of the circle they can be like uh, some unseen question can be there regarding this context that is to find the angle to prove wale question jo hai wo aapki book se related matlab mostly hote hain but these kind of questions they you can find them to be unseen also right let us start with question number uh, example number 5 two circles intersect at two points a and b ad and ac as the diameter of the circle prove that b lies on the segment bc this is same as uh, our question of exercise 10.5 that is question number i think 10 question number it is similar to question number 10 na so this is this you can do on the basis of question number 10 i am starting example number 6 example number 6 Example number six. Prove that quadrilateral formed by the internal angles bisector of a quadrilateral is a cyclic. समझ नहीं आया हमें कुछ भी हम इसको अच्छे से figure के साथ समझेंगे. So what is given to us? We are given a quadrilateral. We don't know what kind of quadrilateral it is. Parallelogram, square, simple quadrilateral is given to us. and uh, marking it to be abcd he says quadrilateral formed by the angle internal angle bisector of this quadrilateral when i make internal angle bisector of this quadrilateral 
आई विल बी गेटिंग इट लाइक दिस इसका बाई सेक्टर ये हुआ इसका बाई सेक्टर ये हुआ इसका बाई सेक्टर ये हुआ इसका बाई सेक्टर ये सो ज्वाइनिंग दीज बाई सेक्टर्स ऑफ इंटरनल एंगल्स ए बी सी डी एज ए ज्वाइन द बाई सेक्टर ऑफ इंटरनल एंगल्स ए बी सी डी आई एम गेटिंग ए स्मॉलर कोआर्डिनेटर इन द सेंटर एंड मार्क इट टू बी ई एफ जी एच मार्क इट टू बी ई एफ जी एच आई एम गेटिंग ए कोआर्डिनेटर इन बिटवीन एंड आई एम मार्किंग इट टू बी ई एफ जी एच so this coordinate efgh which i marked in the center we have to prove that this coordinate is a cyclic coordinate that means coordinate formed by the angle bisectors of a coordinate that will be a cyclic coordinate this is what we want to prove this is the bisector this ah is bisector of angle a bf is bisector of angle b cf is bisector of angle c and dh is bisector of angle d and when all these bisector are joined in the center we are having a coordinate efgh we want to prove that this coordinate is a cyclic coordinate so with the help of the figure we it is easy to us to understand the statement of the theorem so let us start with the given given a coordinate abcd in which ah bf cf and dh are bisectors of angle a angle b angle c and angle t and efgh is quadrilateral made by joining this bisector this is a coordinate made by joining these pi sectors so this is given to us a coordinate abcd in which ah bf cf and dh they are the bisector of angle a angle b angle c angle d respectively and efgh is a coordinate which is formed by joining these pi sectors so let us see what we want to prove to prove ab uh, sorry efgh is a cyclic to prove efgh is a cyclic coordinate let us start with the proof हमें ई एफ जी एच को साइक्लिक जो है वो प्रूव करना ओके सो यू नो वन प्रॉपर्टी इफ इट इज Holding it is satisfying. Then we can say a quadrilateral to be a cyclic quadrilateral. In that is, sum of the opposite angles it should be equal to one eighty degree. So if I choose these two angles to be the opposite angle, F E H and F G H. If I choose these two angles to be the opposite angles of this quadrilateral, the smaller quadrilateral, and if I am able to prove their sum to be one eighty degree, then it will obviously it will be proved that efgh is a cyclic coordinate so i'm choosing these two angles i will prove their sums to be sum to be 180 degree and if their sum is 180 degree it will be cyclic as i explained so you know this e uh, feh 
we have to take the help of the outer triangles why so because we know the given is associated with the quadrilateral which is outside so through this inside uh, quadrilateral i have to jump the outside quadrilateral to reach the required result so i'm writing angle f e h this angle this is equal to a e b vertically opposite angles intersecting lines are forming here so you can take it to be vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles now come in this triangle aeb this triangle aeb actually i am concerned with these angles a and b because i am having the outer quadrilateral i know about the outer quadrilateral so kisi tarah se mujhe mujhe is angle a and b pe pahunchna hai see so i am writing it to be aeb triangle ko agar main aise yahan pe aapke samne bahar leke aaun you can easily see by angle sum property that this angle this is 180 minus this angle minus this angle angle sum property ka meaning yahi hota hai if i say this is 20 degree this is 40 degree find this angle how you will find 180 minus 20 minus 40 ठीक है सेम वे इफ आई एम सेइंग ए ई बी यू विल से 180 माइनस ई ए बी एंड माइनस ई बी ए 180 माइनस ई ए बी माइनस ई बी ए 180 माइनस ई ए बी माइनस ई बी ए ये होएगा अगर हम एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी लगाएं तो नाउ दिस एंगल एफ ई एच दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस यू सी दिस ई ए बी दिस एंगल ई ए बी दिस इज अ बाई सेक्टर वी ऑल नो बाई सेक्टर डिवाइड एन एंगल इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट तो दिस एंगल ई ए बी दिस आई कैन राइट टू बी हाफ एंगल ए using the property of bisector bisector ki property use karte hue hum eab ko half angle a jo hai wo likh sakte hain and what about eba this can also be written as eba eba pure angle b ka half using the property of the bisector we are given this to be the bisector so this is this can be state as half of angle b so i'm writing it half of angle b so just to doing calculations further we will be getting feh this is 180 minus half taken as common angle a plus angle b minus half common le liya this is angle a plus angle b mark it to be equation number 1 so we arrange angle feh in terms of angle a and b एंगल ए एंड बी के टर्म में हमने एंगल एफ ई एच को जो है वो फाइंड कर दिया राइट नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस एंगल एफ जी एच एंगल एफ जी एच आप सिमिलरली भी लिख सकते हो और यू कैन हैव इट इन द सेम वे लेट अस स्टार्ट टू फाइंड एंगल एफ सी एच एंगल एफ जी एच दिस एंगल This is vertically opposite to angle DBC. This is vertically opposite to angle DBC. I am taking this triangle DGC out. Triangle DGC. In this, if you need to find this angle DGC, what you need to do? One eighty minus another two triangles. I said that this angle is thirty. This is fifty. Find DGC. What you will you do? One eighty minus thirty minus fifty. Similarly, I am writing here F G H. This is one eighty minus D G C. You find the way minus G D C minus G C D. Rest of the two angles, if you subtract from one eighty, you will get F G H. So. 
angle F G H. This is one eighty minus G D C. This angle G D C. This is bisector, so we can write it half of angle D. Being the property, using the property of bisector, G D C can be written as half of angle D. And uh, G C D angle. G C D. This is bisector using the property of bisector. You can write it to be half of angle C. So you can write it half of angle C. So angle F G. Ah, uh, sorry. F G H. Home point. F G H. One eighty minus half common. Inside D plus angle C and mark it to be an equation number two. Earlier equation number uh, one was form. It was F E H. This is one eighty minus half of A plus B. This was our first equation. This way we are forming two equations in which we are getting angle F E H and angle F G H. एफ ई एच और एफ जी एच दोनों हमारे पास इन दो इक्वेश में आ गए नाउ वी विल एड देम इफ देर समी डिग्री देन बींग ऑपोजिट एंगल ऑफ दिस स्मॉलर कॉर्डिनेटर इफ देर सम इज वन एटी डिग्री देन ऑब्वियसली दिस स्मॉलर कॉर्डिनेटर इज गोइंग टू बी अक्लिक कॉर्डिनेटर अगर इनका सम हमारे पास वन एटी एड करने के बाद बन जाता है तो ये अपने आप ही हमारे पास साइक्लिक कॉर्डिनेटर बन जाता है राइट चलिए लेट एस स्टार्ट Adding one plus two, one plus two gives one plus two gives. How to add the equation? Left hand side added to left hand side. That means angle F E H plus angle F G H. Is to add here. This is one eighty minus half angle A plus B. And then one eighty minus half angle C plus angle D. One eighty one eighty will become three sixty. Out of these two terms, minus one by two taken as common. So we, it's time to solve this equation and to reach the result. So minus one by two taken as common inside it is angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Plus angle D. So this is equal to three sixty degree minus half angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. Using the angle sum property of quadrilateral ABCD, you can easily write that this A plus B plus C plus T this is three sixty degree. तो ये आपके पास 360 डिग्री एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी यूज करते हुए 360 माइनस हाफ ऑफ 360 दैट मींस 180 यू विल गेट इन 180 सो दिस इंप्लाइज इन क्वाड्रिलेटरल एफ ई एच जी इन क्वाड्रिलेटरल एफ ई एच जी सम ऑफ ऑपोजिट एंगल सम ऑफ पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट एंगल्स Is one eighty degree sum of pair of opposite angles is one eighty degree. This implies E F G H is a is a cyclic quadrilateral. E F G H is a cyclic quadrilateral. Literal. So when you are having sum of the two opposite angles of a quadrilateral to be one eighty degree, that quadrilateral becomes a cyclic quadrilateral. Important theorem is sometimes in one mark also it is stated like uh, uh, the quadrilateral formed by the angle bisector of a quadrilateral is dash. You will write it to be cyclic quadrilateral. Right. So this is all about example number six. Now I am going to.
एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी एट पेज वन सेवेंटी एट एग्जाम्पल टू लेट एस फीर आउट द स्टेटमेंट एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू इफ टू इंटरसेक्टिंग कोर्स ऑफ ए सर्कल makes equal angles with the diameter passing through their point of intersection prove that chords are equal first of all according to the statement we will make the figure and then the statement will be clear to us what is the statement let us see there is a circle two intersecting chords so many questions we have done about two intersecting chords intersecting within the circle we are taking them to be ab and cd intersecting within the circle e is their point of intersection he is taking and uh, let us take o to the center of the what the question is if we are having two chords of the circle like this and we consider the diameter of the circle we consider the two angles Which this chord is making with the diameter of the circle, which diameter which passes through their point of intersection. यहाँ पे तो बहुत सारे diameter हैं. Center में से pass करते हुए सारी lines इसकी diameter. But we have to take that diameter which also passes through the point of intersection of the circle. That means I should take that diameter like this. This satisfies both the properties, both the conditions of the question that it passes through the point of intersection of the chords. कोर्ट्स के पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन से भी ये पास कर रहे हैं एंड मोर ओवर बीइंग डायमीटर इट शुड पास थ्रू द सेंटर एंड दैट इज हियर इट इज पासिंग थ्रू द सेंटर व्हाट इज इज इफ दिस कोर्ट्स मेक्स इक्वल एंगल विद द डायमीटर विद दिस डायमीटर दैट मींस दिस एंगल ए ई क्यू दैट द कोड ए बी इज मेकिंग द विद द डायमीटर पी क्यू एंड द एंगल इधर से अगर हम करें This angle A E Q and another angle diameter के साथ chord C D का angle. So दूसरा angle जो chord C D diameter के साथ बना रही है that is B E Q. जहाँ पे मैंने दो lines लगाई हैं, दोनों angles आपस में equal हैं. One angle is made by the chord A B with the diameter P Q. Another angle is made by the chord C D with the diameter P Q. If these two angles are equal. Then prove that in this case these chords they are going to be equal. So I'm writing the one. Let me tell me. Let me tell you. Time come in. Chords equal and circle have its center O. PQ diameter. PQ is diameter. Such that angle AEQ that chord AB is making with the diameter and angle DEQ that the chord CD is making with the diameter they are equal. To prove AB equal to CD, so uh, one point of construction: draw OM perpendicular to AB and draw ON perpendicular to CD. हमें ये chords equal prove करनी है. If we able to prove that these two perpendiculars that we drawn on the two respective chords. If they becomes equal, that means the distance of the chords from the center becomes equal. Then obviously chords are going to be equal, right? So our target is to prove this OM to be equal to this ON. So we have two triangles. We have of one OM is part, and of another ON is part. So starting with the proof in triangle OME and triangle ONE. जो ट्राइंगल्स लिए हमने ओ एम ई एंड ओ एम ई सो इन दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स वी आर राइटिंग दिस एंगल वन एंड एंगल टू देर इक्वल वन इज इक्वल टू टू नाइंटी डिग्री ईच राइट ओ ई ओ ई कॉमन ओ ई ओ ई कॉमन तीसरी बात क्या हो सकती है इसमें ओ ई ओ ई कॉमन नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल 
and this is given that these two angles are equal angle aeq is equal to deq that means this angle meo meo aeq ko maine aeq ko maine likh liya meo this is equal to deq ko maine likh liya neo this is due to given two angles one side aas property se triangle ome it is congruent to triangle ome so by cpct om is equal to om that means distances of these two chords from the center it is equal it comes out to be equal therefore ab is equal to c and so so we'll continue tomorrow do send your holidays homework as your uh, as well as your homework notebooks homework notebooks tomorrow positively and defaulters please send your homework to paper